Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome to part two of Skiller vs. Skiller vs. Charo. So if you haven't seen the first part already, I will leave a link to it in the description below, or you can scroll down my channel a few days ago and check it out there. So again, Charo had the same team as the first episode, and so did I. So getting into the first chance here, we get the ball here with Neymar, run down the line, do the Balassi flick, go and chip him, and then his goalie manages to save it. And then again, I made the same changes as I did in the last match. I put Neymar to striker, then took Rui Costa and put charisma on for him you know just because I want as many five star skillers on the pitch as possible so the next chance here comes to Charo he does a nice skill move there to a Berber spin to a Ronaldo chop um, we nearly win the ball back there but he manages to keep it then he does the running double touch spin to a, another running double touch spin to a running double touch exit spins past me there some really nice skills here from um, Charo does a Ronaldo chop there goes for another running double touch spin does a roulette then it does some more skill moves there and then we manage to tackle the ball off him but it gets it straight back goes for a fake shot there with Taliso plays it to Thiago and then again he nutmegs my player there and he gets it back you know he's just putting on the pressure here um, does a really nice uh, roulette there to a ball roll flick to the hocus pocus to a advanced rainbow flick goes for the shot and then it just goes marginally wide over the crossbar. That goal there would have been absolutely insane. And then the next skill run again, I try and go on the attack there. Charo wins the ball back, and then I win the ball back. I play it here to Charisma. We do a running whacka whacker, go for the long shot, and then it hits off the post. That would have been a really, really nice goal there if that would have gone in off the post into the top corner. And straight away from that, Charo gets the ball, does a really nice drag back there. Absolutely did my two defenders. Um, it goes for a running double touch spin there. Tries and does another running double touch spin, fouls it. Then does a nice elastico chop there, two fake shots to beat my player. You know Charo in this match, um, he just absolutely dominated me for most of the uh, match. I had like one, or, well I had a few chances throughout the match. And in extra time I'd probably say I had a few more chances than him. But you know throughout the whole match, um, he just seemed to play really well this match. You know just defending really well and scaling really well. As you can see from some of the combos you know he's performing. Um, he was playing very, very well. So the next chance here, I get the ball with Mares. Charo tackles the ball, does a really, really nice Balassi flick, flick to beat me. Plays it there to Bonafa, does a running double touch exit. I win the ball back, he gets it straight back again. Does a nice Ronaldo chop there um, to the running double touch exit. And that was really, really nice the way he did that one. And then the next chance here, I get the ball with Al Sharari, Do a running double touch uh, exit. Um, do a ball roll to Ronaldo chop. I wait. I was trying to wait for him to run past me so then I could do the uh, Giovenco spin in behind him, but he seemed to read the play. Then he played a nice Rabona through ball to his player there, who it was, Di Maria. Um, he tries to rainbow flick me again and then I managed to defend it. And then in the next chance here, I get it with Masonda. And I just want to say Masonda, I think he's one of the most underrated 5-star skillers on FIFA 18. I don't really see too many people using him, but it's actually very, very good for scaling. Um, you know, he feels a lot like Neymar. If you can't afford Neymar, I'd recommend to try out Masonda because those two players feel very, very similar. So moving on into extra time now, I get the ball here with Masonda again. Do some really nice skill moves there to the drag back, to the double touch exit, run through into the midfield of the pitch, do a nice spin there. I think I go for the running double touch exit, um, double touch spin there. Then we do a really nice pirate skill move there. We still have got the ball here, you know, we're not really getting anywhere because, um, you know, Charo was defending really well. And then eventually he fouls me and we get the free kick. So then from the resulting free kick here, I play it short there to Al Sharari. I do a nice running waka waka to a drag back to the fake ball roll to an off ball dribbling to running to a double touch chair uh, spin. And then we take the shot there and Charo manages to defend it and it goes up for a corner. And then in the next chance here again, Charo gets the ball on the counter attack, doing some really, really nice skill combos. The way he did that combo there was so clean. Um, gets the ball here, does a ball roll to Ronaldo chop. We managed to tackle the ball. Then I go and do a nice running waka waka and then look at that, the pirate skill move nutmeg past his defender there. Um, I try and do a running double touch exit there but I fail it but we get the ball back with uh, Ben Arthur, do a really nice double touch spin there and then again you know Chara just defending really really well like he has for the whole of the match. And then moving on into the second half of extra time now, I go for, I was trying to do a scorpion kick there you know, I was trying to flick it over the defender and then I was hoping Al Sharari did the scorpion but instead he just decided to volley it. And then in the 190th minute here, we go on a really, really nice skill run. Charisma's shown off loads of skill combos, um, and then eventually he dis gets dispossessed of the ball. So moving into the penalties now, um, Charo um, decided to miss all his penalties for some reason. I'm not really too sure why. I think maybe 
he had to go somewhere or something like that so he missed all his penalties and then eventually I do win the match. So guys this has been the video if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel Charo's links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.